Hello, my name is Jane. I actually wear many hats. This is one of them. Um, I know it looks a little funny, but I wore this when I was outside working out earlier while well, walking. I'm trying to work on myself. We'll see which one actually looks better. I guess I might have to use this one for the show. Um, okay, I guess it matches. <laughs> I know it looks a little funny, but... I do stand-up comedy, and uh, basically right now I'm doing the sitting down. Hello, my name is Jane. I actually do comedy, and this is my demo reel I plan to present to everybody. He's Mr. Nosy Wise Ass. So how wise are you, Mr. Nosy Wise Ass? I'm very wise. I'm so wise. A lot of people can't even catch up with me. He actually thinks people are going to want to catch up with him. Why would someone want to catch up with you? Because they do. Most people do want to catch up with me. Don't tell me you're like the other puppet. Well, don't tell me you're like the woman in puppet where she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. Is that what you think of yourself? Is that how you think of yourself? Of course, I think of myself that way. Well, earlier when I woke up, I was actually writing a bunch of songs and I actually grabbed this back scratcher and hit my eye. So, oh, I know. What an idiot. Now he's going to make fun of me because I told him. You just didn't tell me. You told others that were on social media. So, um, let's figure out what to talk about. Well, he usually gets to get high all the time. So I have a show called The Jane Dab Show. He actually smokes weed and I don't. And, um, he, he thinks if he smokes weed, he'll feel more creative. Is that true? Stop rolling your eyes that way. People are going to think you're nuts. I'm not, I'm just trying to, what are you trying to do, think of something new? Well, anyways, I wanted to go back into that story and say what happened. After I wrote a few songs, I was writing it on my phone, I had a raindrop music kicking in, and things were hitting my mind, and there were songs about me, and I'm not really a singer, and then I grabbed a back scratcher and hit my eye, boom, I was like, oh no, I thought I could rest, and I, was, I still kept getting ideas. It's a part of the creative process. You keep getting ideas, ideas, ideas. So um, uh, he was supposed to be in a movie, um, but he was too large to put it in a movie because one of the girls couldn't actually hold him up. So I figured I'll hold him up like I'm actually holding him up like I'm a rob him. You can't rob me. I have no money. Okay. What else are you going to tell me, Mr. Nosy Wise Ass? I have to tell you how it is because... I need a girlfriend that has a chest, and, and Cindy, the new puppet, doesn't really have a body on her. Well, I thought you were dating my friend Christy. Didn't you tell me Christy is dating you every Monday for the Jane Dab show? On the Jane Dab show, everyone, Christy is actually dating him. Well, he thinks he's dating her now every Monday, but they didn't go out last Monday because we went out shopping. Oh yeah, that's what happened. How do you know? I think I am an idiot. I'm not an idiot, but I know other idiots. I'm wiser than most idiots out there. Why are you wearing that hat, Jane? Don't you think you're like a weirdo wearing that hat? I'm not. I just don't want you're to. You're lazy, my... right? You're lazy, right? No, I'm self-motivated. Um, so what happened? Well, um, I actually, um, I was trying to do a lot of paperwork as much as I can. I thought myself just go out for a walk and catch up with people that tried messaging me on social media. And now my phone is on silent because I know eventually someone's trying to message me. And I know I look like a weirdo wearing this hat. You look like a weirdo because you made yourself a weirdo. Most people make themselves a weirdo. That's why they become a weirdo. Well, people are just losing it nowadays. What do you think, Jane? Well, uh... Yes, eventually this is happening because, event yes, eventually that's happening because this year, as 2020 passed by, at least seven people I know went nuts. If I count one more person, maybe it's eight. No, if I count these people that I know that went nuts, there were like seven people. And all I can think of is they're lucky I actually made time out for them. Like one girl, she said, I wanted to start my own podcast. I tried to help her uh, get it started. And then she didn't have her camcorder um, charged up all the way. And she went, Rah! the next day or like early in the morning, pissed off at me. 
So what happened? So when she was pissed off at you, what did she say? She just kept bitching at me. She just kept bitching at me like a maniac. And when she did, when she did keep bitching at me like a maniac, I kept thinking, gosh, this is horrible. In the morning, I was like, I can't take it anymore. I'm trying to focus in the morning. And I don't want to hear her yap. So I just cut her off social media. I figured I might as well. Uh, I was, right when I thought I was becoming pretty good friends with her, like for ideas and this and everything. And I thought I could have her read for a part. And when she did, she, um, she kept running in and out of her car. In and out of her car was kind of annoying. And maybe she was smoking some crack and putting it up her ass. So forget her then. So after I wrote a few ideas, I was scratching my back. I thought I could scratch my back, but I hit my eye instead. What an idiot, Jane. You should be wiser than that. You should be watchful. You should be able to take care of yourself. How am I going to take care of myself? I'm like a big baby. Oh, you are? Then what am I going to do? Babysit you, Jane, or take care of you, Jane? You don't need anyone to take care of you, Jane. You're a grown adult, so take care of yourself. But does that mean I should buy a baby bottle and like start drinking a baby bottle? Or do you think I'm going to make a fool of myself? No, you'll definitely make a fool of yourself, Jane. You don't need a baby bottle. If anyone needs a baby bottle, it's me. I need Christy around to take care of me. So you're not a really an old guy to want to be pampered or anything like that. So why would you need Christy while you have the other girl puppet? Christy is a real person. Cindy isn't. So I need a real person around. It's better to have someone real than fake, don't you think, Jane? Yeah, I guess so. Stop guessing. You should just call people on social media now to see who's going to answer. I think you're right. I think we'll do that. Um, just for fun, I'll call the ones that will probably answer on social media because they're lonely. And I know probably Al will answer because he's always on uh, Facebook. Like, if I try calling him, let's just surprise him right now and, and, and see what he's up to. Since I haven't talked to him for a long time, we'll take a chance, right, Jane? Is that what's going on? Are we taking a chance on calling Al? Yeah. So in life, nothing happens unless you take a chance. So right now I'm taking a chance. I'm calling Al. I met him when I was working at the farmer's market one day. And I'm not sure if he's going to answer or not. But maybe he's going to be surprised when he sees me with my puppet. I'm calling him. He's not answering. <laughs>